Alright guys, welcome back to Now in today's video I'm gonna be showing you and um, what my strategy is for the boss fight. Right. If you're a beginner, this is no guide at all unless you're just showing you what I use and what I do in the boss fight. Right. So basically use rather the M16 with Frenzy Guard, the Amps with Frenzy Guard, or if you're feeling a bit shotgunny, then you can use the Gallo with Frenzy Guard or Ether Shroud. Now, the ammo mods I use, because I do extra damage with the M16 anyway, to the Mimics, I use the Brain Mod, but I don't actually equip it because I still do extra damage anyway. And for the amps and the goal, I use cryo freeze. Sometimes I use brain wrap on both of them, but mainly cryo freeze. Now you can use the AFR, F, FFAR, the um, RPD, the Stola 63. They're great weapons, but I just don't recommend using them. They're not the greatest. Alright. So, when I get into the game, I mainly look for horror threats. Golden chests, dragons, fairy crystals, and orders. I look for all of the, you know, like, little objectives, right? Now, the reason we're looking for them is because you get points off of them. And plus, say you've got a fairy crystal and more tier one, right? don't go for the fairy crystal straight away. Save the fairy crystal until your last objective, because you should get found and salvage so do your main objective do the other main um, other objectives and leave your fury crystal for the last one that way you should have a green or potentially a blue weapon if you're lucky enough and then if you've got a green you'd have blue and if you've got a blue you've got a purple right now if you don't get a fury crystal on the board tier one then just don't worry pack up on 16 get about two or three perks on World Tier 1, because that's mainly what I can do on my games, have it at least green. This is the first three perks I get, are rather Drug, Dead Shot and Stamina Up, or Drug, Dead Shot and Speed Core. It's basically Drug, Dead Shot Speed Core for the Gallo, but for the Amps and M16, it's gotta be um, Drug, um, speed, um, Stamina Up and um, Dead Shot. Now, when you're in the bus fight, well, not the bus fight, but the missile silos, right? Um, I would recommend going for the mimic key first, then the monkey one, and then the eth ethereum canister. Now, I would suggest looking up Mr. Ruffwaffles if you want to do the Easter egg, but you haven't done it yet. So he can give you the guide, and I'm going to potentially show you um, what I use. So, once you've got all them keys and everything, um, and you've put them all in the correct code, also, quick to note, on the, um, like, control panel thing, you've got the, like, a green button or something, and there's, like, three, like, lights. One's green, and two of them are red, on each control panel, so, so, A, B, D you've got, right? Like, or B, A, D, whatever. Say you go into A and you look at the control panel, and it shows the green light as the first light. And then you go into B and it's like, and then the green light's the third light. And then the D is the second green, and this the second one. Like that's your code, it would be A, D, B. Right? E, D, B. And it can be different, but, yeah. Ignore them outside. Because they're annoying. If you can hear them anyway. Um, now, when you get into the boss fight, a lot of people in tutorials, like guides or something, tell you to go on top of the, um, the part where you get out of the um, missile silo part. Don't do that. Right? Where the ammo crate is, there's a roof on it, right? And get on top of that um, roof. Right? It's so, like, say, LL Steve LL. Like, he, he did the gallo and got up to the roof. I do the same, but with the M16, or amps, or the gallo. Right? 
And then once he spawns, just spray his chest. Once you're spraying his chest, then he just begins to teleport. Right? Just hip fire him. It doesn't matter how much damage you do, because when he goes in between two missile silos, you're basically going to have to just one burst him, and then he's going to... And then he's gonna kneel down, and you can destroy one of his orbs. Now, last time I did this, he just took out the M16 and the Gallo for the Packer Punch Legendary, and it was so easy. I mean, loads of more zombies, loads of zombies have spawned, obviously, but it was so easy. You don't even need a wonder weapon. Uh, and once you've once you've destroyed his first armor, spray into him when he's on top of a missile tower. Don't go under him. Because you'll start taking damage and so would I. Right? Wait until he goes into a under, I mean, between a missile silo. And then just start spraying him again. And be careful for his electric attack. So when he goes into a pose where um, he like turns a little bit but he's still facing forward. Right? And he's in between a missile silo looking like he's about to, you know, destroy the entire missile silo but which he obviously doesn't. Right? You want to, because it's still being an electric orb, right, in a certain location, and you want to stay far away as possible from that, because that could instantly kill you, right, and down you. Especially when he's in the middle of a silo, they can, you can throw some monkey if you have them. I always recommend stim shots, because if you're in a corner, you can just use these stim shots constantly. And then, yeah, so easy. Right. And once you've done that, it is so simple, the boss fight, to just learn the mechanics of Legion. Because you realise how easy he is. Like, I'm not even, like, you may think this is fake, but I've spent over, like, eight to nine days grinding out that boss fight, and I've done it 20 times now. About four or five times with other people, and about 16, like 15, 16 times by myself. And I'm going to be streaming the boss fight, like a couple minutes, in fact. So, yeah. So if this, um, you know, like easy strategy, well, not easy because you could potentially get downed. But once you've done the Easter egg, um, so now go check check Mr. Delta JD. Noah and Mr. Ruffle Wobbles, they have amazing guides. I would suggest you look at them. And if you want to know easier strat, fight the boss fight, come to, you can come to my channel, check out some of the streams that I've done on Outbreak Easter Egg. And then you're basically set. And then you've done the Easter egg. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bells so you never miss another video. Goodbye.